let's test it on our floors because it is really ultimately coming down to which one is going to be better performance for your lifestyle. So for our test, we're going to be using, we're going to use some pet hair. We're also going to be using these, which are going to be your Rice Krispies treats and you have some oatmeal. So there's going to be a cold concoction of stuff. We have a, something called a vacuum special where it's going to be a whole mix of everything. So first up on our test, we're going to be using the Rice Krispies treats. The beauty of the Rice Krispies treat test is that I don't have to worry so much if it's going to pick up everything because it has to pick up everything because then you will be able to see any crumbs it has. So first up, we're going to be, we have our, we have our turbo. I'm going to set this at, that is going to be on medium pill. And it did a great job with that. Next up will be our oatmeal test. That's super easy. Drop that. And we're just gonna take a handful of oatmeal. And this, again, this is our larger particles here. And then we're gonna go into a more dusty and hairy particles for you. So in this test, I'm gonna be taking debris directly from our Bissell liftoff. And this is a whole concoction that we were running multiple tests on where it's basically old vacuum debris with human hair, pet hair, uh, food, fur, dust, everything. So we're gonna see if our Bissell CleanView Compact Turbo is gonna have an easy work of that on this type of low pill carpet. Oh, super dusty. So, and voila, it made quick work of all of the debris that we had saturated our little rug with. So here is the Bissell CleanView Compact. It should perform pretty similarly because it has the same motor, but remember, we do not have an adjustable height on the compact. Got some Rice Krispies here. it still was able to pick up everything but i had to make a number more passes because the height is not adjustable especially for this low pill now you're going to see the same test if i use it on oatmeal so we're going to try the same test on oatmeal
And we'll see, does the compact make quick work of this?